Hello and welcome to this video. This video was actually planned for earlier, but because of the release of the visa bulletin for the month of September, so I had to turn my attention to that considering its importance. So now here is the video that talks about interview scheduling in the DV 2023 program. Now, for those of you who have been following, we said that the end of July is the official end of interview scheduling in the diversity visa program. And we also indicated that after the end of July, scheduling was still possible up to the release of the visa bulletin in August. And I guess some of you had been hoping that the visa bulletin would delay. This is the week that the visa bulletin was expected to be published and it has been published, which is not good news for diversity visa 2023 applicants who have not yet been scheduled for interview. Had the visa bulletin been delayed, those of you who have not been scheduled for interview would have still had some hope. But as we said, it has been published, which is an indication that interview scheduling has now moved from the DV 2023 program to the DV 2024 program. And even before the visa bulletin was published on Tuesday, there were already signs last weekend from the most recent SEAC data that interview scheduling in the DV 2023 program was about to end. Let me share a couple of those signs with you. When you consider, for example, the data in the in-transit column in the latest SEAC data, you will see that that data is very scanty. In the SEAC data table, the in-transit column represents the earlier stage of all the stages presented by statisticians in that table. In other words, it is in the in-transit column that cases first appear before they move on to the ready stage and then finally to one of the interview outcome stages. Now, if you should consider the current SEAC data table, you will see that for the Africa region, for example, there are only four cases in transit. For Europe and Asia, no cases in transit. In the case of Oceania, there are only three cases and for South America, only one case. A total of eight cases. Imagine only eight cases from all of the cases around the world being in transit from KCC to the various embassies. That only happens when interview scheduling is about to end. Another thing is the SEAC data CSV file that we usually download. For this gone weekend, that file did not show cases with NVC status at the various embassies and consulates. So it was like there are no DV 2023 cases at KCC. Now, if those cases were not interviewed, then why didn't they appear in the SEAC data? And the answer is because they had been removed because they had no further use which was another indication that interview scheduling was about to end. And in addition to that, there are embassies that are known for always having movements in their interview scheduling. London is one of them. And for the first time last week, there was no movements in the situation of interview scheduling at the London embassy. And for those of you who followed as I named your embassies and consulates over the last weekend, when I got to the London embassy, I made a comment, I said something like, for the first time. All of that were indications that there was no more inflow of new cases from KCC to the various embassies and consulates, and that meant that interview scheduling in the DV 2023 program had come to an end and that the visa bulletin was about to be released. Now, this weekend, I will be back with another video concerning the DV 2023 program. By that time, we will have the next SEAC data on hand 
and that will allow us to confirm that indeed interview scheduling has very well ended in the DV 2023 program. You know, I like to use the statistics as the basis of my declarations. So this weekend, hopefully we will wrap up all of this in an upcoming video. But for today, that is all. That brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching it. See you, God willing, on the weekend. Goodbye.